Is it a lizard? Or is it a whale? How about a lizard the size of a whale? Today's British dinosaur is Cetiosaurus. Okay, so just to clarify, dinosaurs aren't actually lizards. They're from a separate group of reptiles called archosaurs. But this wasn't well known in the early days of dinosaur discovery, hence the use of the word saurus in scientific nomenclature for dinosaurs. Anyway, back to Cetiosaurus. The first remains of Cetiosaurus were discovered in Chipping Norton in Oxfordshire and were reported by John Kingsdon in 1825. Now bear in mind that the first dinosaur, Megalosaurus, had only been described the year before, making Cetiosaurus one of the first dinosaurs ever discovered. Now Kingdon had found some vertebrae and limb pieces, and due to its size he thought they might have been from an ancient whale. Now the famed anatomist Richard Owen thought similar, and he gave the creature its name Cetiosaurus the whale lizard in 1841. Now Owen quickly realised that Cetiosaurus wasn't actually from a whale, but he still thought it was from a large marine reptile. Now, to give the situation some context, we're pretty familiar in the 21st century with the image of the sauropod dinosaur, this long-necked and long-tailed giant, such as Diplodocus or Brachiosaurus. In fact, Cetiosaurus itself was the first one, it was the first sauropod ever discovered. But what had been discovered up to that point were some large marine reptiles such as the ichthyosaurs, the plesiosaurs and the mosasaurs. And no land animal at this point had been found that was as large as one of these marine reptiles, hence why they thought Cetiosaurus was a marine organism. And it was actually one of Owen's rivals, Gideon Mantell, who convinced him that Cetiosaurus was actually a dinosaur. In March of 1868, Daniel Chapman, a watchmaker from Oxford, was travelling with his son on a botany expedition when their train stopped at Enslow Bridge in Oxfordshire. And he saw workmen digging away at something, and what it looked like was a piece of bone fragment. Now Chapman found the foreman and got them to stop working, and he messaged John Phillips, the Professor of Geology at the University Museum in Oxford, now Phillips supervised the excavation of the fossils and some of these are on display still in the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. And sadly poor Chapman, along with the workmen that originally discovered the fossil, didn't get any credit. Now the remains from Windsor Bridge were those of several individuals and include the scapula, the sternal plate, humerus, ulna, femur, Fibia, ilium, ischium, and with cervical, dorsal, and caudal vertebra. And there was even a brain case found. Now, a hundred years later, in June of 1968, another source was found at the Williamson Cliff Brickworks Quarry in Greater Casterton in Rutland. And staff from the Leicester City Museums excavated the specimen. Now, containing over 200 bones, it turned out to be the most complete Cetiosaurus so far discovered, and include most of the vertebra, along with the sacrum, femur, and other parts of the limbs, along with ribs, and a few other bits and pieces. And what became known as the Rutland Dinosaur was put on display in the New Walk Museum in 1985 in Leicester. Now the display includes most of the fossils that are in good condition, but some of the more fragile pieces are still kept away in storage, they're not on display. And the missing pieces of the skeleton that's on display in the museum are made up of replicas. And noticeably, from the finds both in Rutland and Oxfordshire, no skull has been found for Cetiosaurus, 
so the one that's on display in the museum is an extrapolation based upon the skulls of other sauropods that have been found. Now the Rutland dinosaur is about 15 meters long and estimates for some of the Oxfordshire specimens pulled an adult dinosaur at around about 20 meters in length and somewhere around 11 tons in weight. So where does Cetiosaurus sit in the family tree? Well, it's part of a group of dinosaurs known as the Eusauropods and was an early example of one of these animals. Now time-wise it existed in the Middle Jurassic period from around 170 to 166 million years ago and was a contemporary of the Oxfordshire theropod Megalosaurus. Now like Megalosaurus, Cetiosaurus was used as a wastebasket taxon in the early days of paleontology. There are at least three separate genera that were once thought to be Cetiosaurus. Now despite the confusion, Cetiosaurus is still worthy of fame, being the first sauropod ever discovered anywhere in the world and the most complete one so far discovered in the UK.